All right. We got so rusty. Mm -hmm. I love the classic uh, 80s spray. It's always fun to have a nice spray on boards. I think we need more sprays on boards. What do you think? I think so, yeah. yeah I think so. It gives you a different kind of... Um, it puts you in a different headspace when you're paddling out, I think, when you're looking down and there's something colourful looking back at you. Yeah, yeah. I like it, must it. Be, it must be tough um, just having to get whiteboards. And I, I understand the requirement from um, your sponsors because, you know, it's already expensive for them. Um, but, you know... I think a, for comps as well, though, I, I prefer to have just the white and then you've got the blank canvas for your stickers and everything yeah, as well. Yeah, that's a good so, point. Um, I don't know, maybe if I was paddling out and I looked down and saw colour on my board, I would, I'm just not used to it for heaps. Maybe, so you'd, maybe you'd get into a fun maybe, surf mode. Maybe, and not but, you know, there's there's fun surf and then there's comp mode. Comp surf, <laughs> that's what it, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Well, this was a fun little board, I thought. From my view, I watched you guys um, surfing at the reef. I had a surf on Solly's the other day. I found it nice and spicy. I mean, I'm a fan of EPS. This has got a standard stringer for the CPS. Uh, what do you think, Soph? Um, Yeah, pretty much the same as you. I um, I paddled out the first day we surfed um, the the A-frame kind yeah. of wave. Um, but, yeah, it's a hollow hollow A-frame, right into an oncoming section, and the left's kind of tapered off. Um, but, again, it was the... Left, right into not an oncoming section, right into that reef you kept well, putting yourself on. I was going to say, both... <laughs> both, both both ends of the waves, it got pretty shallow. Um, <laughs> but it was, yeah, it was good to jump on the EPS and kind of get that spark to it, which I felt like this board had, um, without taking away from drive. And I think there's a fine line between that when it comes to surfboards, whether it's got enough spark to it um, and whether it it's still drivey. And sometimes I've ridden EPSs and they haven't had the drive. Um, but I really like this board because you could hold it off the bottom and then still get that spark off the top. Um, so yeah, I'd be definitely interested to ride this one again. Um, and even in small waves, I think yeah, it I would, think it would, it would still well. hold its yeah. speed, which we, you know, we were lucky enough that we didn't really get the small <laughs> wave opportunity over there. But uh, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, you'd still get that pop off the top um, yeah. in sub two foot conditions. Yeah, yeah. And this is the this is the Wade Carmichael keg model. So Wado's been hammering out a few turns on tour on this. And he definitely has some drive to his yeah. surfing. So. I'm not sure that he surfs the EPS version yeah. of it. I'd have to find that out. Um, but, yeah, this is his model. Um, so just a big, single, uh, concave. So, yeah, maybe that's where he gets all these. Mm. That's where he gets the sparkiness from, I think. Mm, for sure. What do you think, Sol? Yeah, the... Uh the rusty for me, the dimensions were spot on. Yep. Like picking up all the boards, kind of going through them on day one. Um, you know, the first thing you're looking at is, oh, what feels good under the arm? What's like where the dimensions at? Like, you know, cause the, the shapers get given the dimensions to an extent, but they're also doing what they want to do, which is the cool part about a test is like, you're kind of writing things that they want to shape you. Yeah. Um, and then like we pick them up and interpret them however we yeah. Kind of, and then and then surfing them is a different story. But the Rusty's dimensions was like pretty much to a T what I would order if I was to go in there and be like, this is what I want, mate. Um, which was really cool. Uh, was made it exciting to jump on um, instantly. And it actually, being an EPS, not a huge fan of riding EPS. One of the finer EPS I've ridden in terms of drive and and like. A lot of them, the reason I don't love them is they just pop so much and I just can't like, can't seem to get that kind of um, PU train, like that thing that just, where PU, once you get it going, it just doesn't want to stop. Mm. This sort of almost had that happy medium where it sort of still had that poppiness, but then when I wanted to drive through a turn, it had that full, kind of made me feel like I was like a small version of Wade. <laughs> <laughs> We well, are um, a tall version of Wade. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> well, I should say a tall version of Wade. Um, this is about this, his height, five seven, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, he uh, like you can you can actually feel that it's Wade's board. Like he, you know, he, he's worked on it or whatever. It's 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 drivey. It's got heaps of speed, 
Um, even though it was an EPS, it's sort of something that you would ride in, in good conditions and be pretty confident on. It's stable. It's a good board. Yeah, well, I, and I rode it in, you know, quite small, like two foot, and it was super fun too. So it's got definitely a lot of um, drive and speed down the line. Um, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Great board. Thanks, Rusty.